what makes a company American? The answer involves more than locating a company's headquarters on a map. Take one example, General Electric, an iconic American company. It was founded in Schenectady, New York in 1892, one of the first companies on the Dow Jones Industrial Average, and it's still part of the index today, more than 100 years later. The company makes everything, from light bulbs to the software that connects industrial robots. I'm focusing on GE because one presidential candidate, Bernie Sanders, said the company is an example of corporate greed and destroying, quote unquote, the moral fabric of this country. That's because it's sending jobs to low-wage countries and not paying taxes in the U.S., according to Bernie Sanders. But let's take a closer look at GE's business. 55% of GE's sales actually come from outside the U.S., so the company says it's moving its workers to where its customers are. About 60% of GE's workers and manufacturing plants are outside the U.S. So, with all that global business, where does GE pay taxes? That is a very complicated question. CEO Jeff Immelt says it pays billions of dollars in taxes, but GE, like many other companies, doesn't disclose the exact amount it pays in corporate taxes. And there have been some reports that suggest GE hasn't paid any corporate tax in some years. By the way, Apple, Nike, Caterpillar, Ford, those are just some of the companies that get more than half of their revenue from abroad. Apple CEO Tim Cook was even grilled before Congress about his company's practice of keeping cash offshore so it could avoid U.S. taxes. Honestly speaking, I don't see it as being unfair. I am not an unfair person. So back to GE. It sells more of its products abroad and has more of its employees abroad. And we really don't know where and how much it pays in taxes. Tax experts say there's no way to know for sure. But GE is based here and has many U.S. shareholders. So is GE an American company? You decide. <laughs>